Hello, everyone. I'm Numana Joy, also known as Ali McPhee, women's health coach, womb priestess, and the founder of the JFL Academy that serves the womb healing practitioner training. I'm here with Billy Hickey, a womb healer who's been trained in our academy, a mother of two, wife, artist, entrepreneur, and CEO of Billy Fit, which is a women's empowerment movement through biohacking and womb healing rituals. So, Billy, I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Hey, babe. Hi, Numana. Thank you for having me, and thanks for this beautiful introduction. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm so proud of you and everything that you've built and how far you've come. You were on the journey with us in the womb healing practitioner training through JFL for, was it almost a year you did? Yeah, you were with us. And I'm so curious to hear more about your journey. If you'd like to share why you decided to join the Academy, what was going on in your life? What was that aha moment that you knew that you wanted to be a part of this? And what, yeah, what prompted you to make that decision? Yeah, so um, at that point in my life, I was truly searching and longing for answers, for, for tools, for rituals, for sisterhood. I felt so lonely. We just had recently moved and I felt so uprooted and just disconnected from who I am. And I found you um, at a free challenge. You were a guest speaker and, you know, out of, I don't know, these 20 women, you were the one where I was like, this, this is exactly what I need. Women empowerment and feminine embodiment and everything you talked about, like connection with my yoni, with my breasts. Um, and so, yeah, there was <laughs> usually... Um, I'm not like that quick in like making a decision, but when you said there is a, I think it was after the lion's gate where you like, there's a lion's gate special. And I was like running, opening the doors, running downstairs, grabbing a credit card, not even question asked. There's no question asked. I am buying this course. This is for me. That's exactly what I need. And I did that. And then during the course, it was like a door had opened to myself, um, I was able to shed so many layers of uh, like just blocks, beliefs, um, yeah, just disconnection after delivering my children to my yoni, um, to my breast. There was so much judgment hold from growing up what I thought how my breast looked like. And I was able to release so much and gain a sisterhood of my God, like just two days ago, I talked with one of the sisters on the phone and it's just like a never ending support that extended way beyond the academy. And then there was a point in the academy where I felt a leadership rising in me and I couldn't hold it back anymore. Um, in the beginning, I was so scared to speak up. I I would have hot flashes. Like if you said, you know, do you want to share anything? Anyone wants to say anything? And I was like, I want to, but I'm so scared. And then, you know, slowly, slowly, like you encouraged me to speak up more and more and more. And at the end of the academy, there was almost no stopping me anymore. I'm like, I get into it, like intuitive insights to this person and I need to share what I'm thinking. And I wasn't scared of it anymore. And that was the moment when I said, I want to go full in. I want to come to the retreat and I want to join the priestessing um, journey. Yeah. Hmm. I love hearing all of this, Billy. It's It's been such a delight to go all in with you as well, being on retreat together, all of our magical sisterhood rituals. And yeah, you are such a delight and you are so fun. And yeah, I remember you sharing too, just the disconnection that you had felt to your body and your femininity. And also, you know, being a mother and having that be such a big role and such a high energy of service and giving, you know, so much of this Academy is first about you. Like the first whole portion of it is about focusing on the self. And so the pleasure rituals, the connection to our womb, our breasts, our yoni, 
you know, all of these ways helps us reconnect to our femininity, reconnect to our receptivity, reconnect to our pleasure, which is the vibrancy. It is the life force as to then how we're serving. It first starts with us and then it passes on to our families and then our communities and our career. And so I hear that you really reclaim that. And I remember at one point you saying, you know, I feel like my brain has been stuck in this masculine paradigm of doing life, doing business. I know you were also, and you still are a fitness coach and your Instagram has totally changed from mostly just you and your fitness gear, biohacking and going for, for it into also you like in pink dresses and talking about womb healing and feminine expression and feminine empowerment and embodiment. And so I've, I've witnessed that transformation first start with you where you had those aha moments, like, wow, I am go, go, going exhausted in this masculine energy. And now I understand my femininity. Now I understand how it feels to embody this. And I feel alive in my body. And then I saw the shift happen with your Instagram and your business. And so that was just a product of the inner shift. And so I'm curious when you decided to go deeper into the womb healing practitioner training, because at one point this was, there was a level one, what that was just you. And then there was the training that came after that. And now it's all blend into a nine month womb healing practitioner training first focused on the self and then into service and then into business. So when you made that decision and decided to embrace your leadership and embrace your voice and was like, I'm going to take this to the next level. I'm going for it. I'm so curious how, like what, how that started to shift your mindset around your business. How did it help you connect even more to your mission and your purpose in this lifetime? How did it shift the way that you were tra attracting clients and who you started to work with? And yeah, if there's anything that you want to share, because I know that there's so much that's changed within your business over, you know, just a short amount of time. So if you want to talk about that process, would love to hear more. Yeah, thank you. Um, so the internal shifts that happened, um, my whole life, I was very empathetic and, um, could feel energies and could channel, but I never allowed myself to fully live it out. Um, <clears throat> I channeled it in the profession of being an actress and being able to connect with people energetically while acting and like having all these big feelings while being an actress. And then since becoming a mom and then having also this biohacking um, business as a celebrity trainer, um, I just shut this down. And then with JFL, it just popped open and exploded. It was overflowing suddenly my ability to channel and to get these intuitive insights. And there was this point where I was allowing myself to be the wild woman, to release, to have, like it was during the rage then where I was like really having this huge outbreak and just letting my feelings flow where I realized as mothers, we usually don't get this space where we can release our rage and, and our anger in a safe way. We need to hold space for our family, our children. And I'm deeply affected by <laughs> the emotions of my children and I still need to hold it in as being this full empath that feels so deeply. So then having the space where I get to just live it out and be free and be wild was huge for me. And I realized that that's part of my dharma that I want to hold space for other women so they get to get half the same feeling and the same safe space to be fully who they are and not to judge parts of them anymore the way I did and so that was a big shift in me and yeah it was so interesting I just let my business flow and create and I didn't judge it anymore <laughs> I just I'm like this is me you know I can be in my full masculine training you and um but I can also be in my feminine with flowy dresses and finally feel safe in my body to embody the feminine and I think when it comes down to my business I'm just here to empower you I'm here to empower you with words I'm here to empower you in the space that I'm holding now so you get to embody whatever you want to feel and 
just share my experience and, and wisdom that I've collected over the years with biohacking and all the beautiful rituals you taught me um, to just enhance your vitality and life. Yeah. I'm just having a memory actually of, of you. Well, first the rage ritual that you spoke to. I remember that part of the Academy online. And I remember you bringing up just the fact that you're always holding space for your children and to have a ritual where your anger, your rage, your grief, big energy is welcomed and encouraged and it's led in a sacred way. I remember your aha moments around that. And then I also remember two moments during the retreat when you came out here on retreat in Kauai. And when we did the womb clearing ritual with the partner work and what unlocked in you that power, that life force, that emotion, it was full on. And I could see your aliveness. I could see you being true to who you were. And then later when we did the waterfall hike and you ended up jumping off the cliff and <laughs> literally screaming like multiple times we're like waiting for you to do it we're like holding space but I knew in that moment you were meeting something so deep within yourself like such a, a place of fear and holding back and you met it you let it out and then you jumped into that water and we hugged you and cheered you on <laughs> They at the bottom to catch me you know I felt like I was yeah like you said I really faced like so many yeah like roadblocks fears in a voices of stopping me in my like the container that that I put myself in the box you know what what would people think about me like I grew up in Austria like womb healing is really like there's no place for that honestly and so I was like in this small box and then faced with the waterfall with this pure energy but also knowing you're down there and you will catch me the way you did it also you know in on retreat or the whole during the whole course like I just felt so safe also to do it and so yeah that was a big moment <laughs> that's a big moment and then and then you also led us through your ritual on the beach. So part of this retreat, everyone who was being trained got to have a moment where they offered to the group. And Billy, your beautiful beach embodiment, womb activation, chakra activation dance was so much fun. And yeah, how did you feel after leading us through that in the ocean and the waves? What did that, what did that feel like for you? It was another layer of initiation. I was so worried before. I am such a perfectionist. I want to prepare everything. And, you know, I didn't know where we will be and how we will look like. There was so much trust in like that I had to put in myself that everything will be okay. And then I just felt like I've done this so many times before. Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm guiding women. They're having the best time. And yeah, it was, I felt so super empowered afterwards and I just enjoyed so much seeing everyone being guided with yeah with music with movement in the water and it was just magical so much fun it was so much fun on the receiving end too it and also to just witness you after supporting you and training you and sharing demos and you know with you sharing online your ritual facilitation with the group then to be on the receiving end in person and experiencing your magic after months of just diving deeper into yourself and embodying your leadership and trusting yourself and letting it flow. You know, it was really on the receiving end. I just felt in awe. I felt really proud. I'm like, there she is. Like, this is her, this is her magic. This is her flavor. This is her leadership. So it was really beautiful to receive you in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I know like right after you had finished the Academy, uh, you were just full on offering womb healing sessions, super excited about that. And then now I know that you've kind of taken a little step back to develop your core, develop your online course, and also go through more of the logistical backend work of having an online business. And, you know, anyone who decides to come into this practitioner training, they can choose to learn online business. They can choose to serve locally in their community, or they can do a hybrid of both. And I know lately you've been focusing a lot on building a course. And so I just really want to honor you in that because 
again, I see this as a testament to how much you met your yourself, like you said earlier, to find your voice and to trust it and to move beyond all the doubts that are like, who am I to do this? Who am I to shine bright? Who am I to say this? Who am I to, you know, live this way to move through all of those doubts and to create something that now your business has long term. It's it's powerful and it it really it really does take bravery and it really does take deep deep connection to your why. Why you are in service? What is your mission and why do you care about it? And I and I see you having done this foundational inner work. So, yeah, I'm curious if you'd like to share okay. Yes, I have to give it back a little bit to you because to complete the certification, you have to do six testimonials. And I was really worried about it before. And you just kept encouraging me and you, you know, we left voice messages back and forth. And my first client, she had a lot of childhood sexual abuse, trauma, and I was so worried. I was so worried. I remember that I was like, I don't want to you know, make damage to her and like, how can I really serve her? And all the words, everything you said to me was just pure, pure love. And um, you encouraged me so much. So, you know, without you, I wouldn't be where I am today without your encouragement and with your, you just truly care about us. You truly do. Like you hold the space for us going through this process like, yeah, like the grandmother, you're holding us, you know, it's like, it's just incredible for each and everyone. So I just want to say that, that I would never be able to trust who I am now in that process without you holding my hand in the beginning and, and telling me I can do it and, and giving me, yeah, just guidance and being a true mentor to me. So I want to just give that back to you for a second. Mm -hmm. And Hmm. The online world is is interesting. It is for sure um, another layer of entrepreneurship, and um, yeah, I love I love doing the one on one works. You never you never know what will happen and what will unfold during the session. But I have full trust through you because of you that I will be able to hold space and there will nothing be unfolded that the person will not be able to um, hold or or receive so um, mm -hmm. I've learned so much of hold, how I hold space for others what rituals I can offer in my sessions um, what which me methodologies will be helpful maybe to guide her in the next steps and um, that's just because of of your your schooling and and what you taught me mm -hmm. Thanks, Billy. Yeah, you know, the the part around being able to expand our capacity to hold space for somebody really does come from that inner work. When our clients come to us, if their triggers trigger our own triggers, then our nervous system can feel a fight or flight response or a shutdown, and it can block our ability to really being present with the person. And so, yeah, the first whole foundation of this program is, again, it's about you. It's about guiding you through these rituals. So each person can develop a deeper relationship with themselves and knowing themselves and understanding their, their history and the limiting beliefs that they're carrying and expand their perception of self and release a lot of that pent up energy and trauma. And so then this whole second portion that you were speaking to the space holding and you doing, you said the testimonials, the case studies, you know, it is a working certification. You're learning the methodology, you're receiving the demos, you're watching live demos. Then in that process, it's gaining you, it's giving you those tools and awareness, but then you get to practice and implement in your own time with your clients, with your community, with six case studies, and then submit it for feedback. And so in that process, there can be a lot around like, whoa, who am I to offer this? Can I hold this space? And so we know that it's brave to show up for others in that way. And that's why these are all um, meant to be part of practice and meant to aid you in that 
um, that confidence and understanding who you are in relationship to the space holding role and everyone, including you, I, I know that everyone had their fears going into it, but after offering a session and seeing the depth and the alchemy that occurs in that space, everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love this work. I'm so excited to keep doing it. And I know that you had that breakthrough after you called me that day and we talked it through and yeah, is there anything else that you would like to share that you feel that is important for others to know about this certification and the experience of it? So my takeaway from the certification um, is that it's not just like you learn something with your mind, you know, and afterwards you have the knowledge, like during the course and afterwards you really help us embody it and help us yeah you give us like so many beautiful pamphlets so I think you make it so easy and tangible for us like to learn in different ways like you give us like the visuals if you're a visual person there's also you know you can just listen to the videos if you want to learn like through audio and there's this big embodiment with like homework and and yeah, just so many ways how you help us really internalize all the knowledge that you give us in that course. And I truly have to say the the women in the sisterhood, the other goddesses, priestesses, they were so, so important at that time in my life. And some of them are still really so close to me. And that has been yeah, so profound because it's like you go through this journey with a group of women and they've, they've seen your darkest moments, your fears, um, your capacity to love. And, and yeah, it's just like they've seen your full spectrum. And I feel like some of them, although I have really, really, really close friends, they've seen more of this like rainbow of emotions from me because they've been in it with me. And so that's just like, yeah, the sisterhood is like unmatched. And so the certification has changed my life completely. It has changed my business. It has changed how I hold space at home in my with my family. It has changed how I set boundaries with other people. Before the certification, I was such a people pleaser and just um, always trying to make it right for everyone. Now I know my voice matters. Now I know my energy matters. The energy exchange with other people matter. It's not just about giving, giving, giving. Um, I can also give myself first. And that was a big learning process for me personally. Um, and yeah, it's just the confidence you gain in that certification to really call yourself womb priestess. Like I've never felt that before. Like I just know I am a womb priestess. I'm an intuitive energy worker and an embodiment coach. And that's just because I went through your certification. Oh, this is also fabulous to hear, Billy. Yeah, we really do have a real sisterhood that is formed and so much vulnerability, so much authenticity. And yeah, that's why these bonds are created for a lifetime. And I feel like my clients aren't just clients, they're soulmate friends and family, and we've stayed connected. And I'm always celebrating you and catching up and seeing what you're doing on Instagram. And I love that you shared that. And then yeah, the different learning styles that are available. I Everyone has a different learning style. That's why I love to, like you said, have the graphs and the audios and the visuals, everything. And yeah, I'm just so proud of you and everything that you've met with inside yourself, all of your biggest fears and doubts and have really come to know yourself so fully and to be able to offer this to others is so courageous. And every time you're offering something new, every time you're posting a reel, I'm just like, yeah, she's, she's doing it. She's on purpose. You're living your truth. And yeah, just deeply, deeply in awe of you, Billy, and excited to see everything that comes into your life in the future, everything that you create, all the ways that you serve. And yeah, it's been such a blessing being a part of your journey. 
you. I'm, I will be forever grateful to have you as my mentor and sister and friend. And like you said, we are soul family and that's the way you treat us. And that is also very unique to maybe other courses that you really, you are so authentic. I want to share just this last bit of during the retreat, there was like a moment where I'm like, she's always like, you know, you seem like so authentic, but is she really that authentic when you meet her in person? And you are, you are, you're just, you know, you're never hiding anything or pretending anything. It's just, you are who you are. And by you being who you are, you really give us like the permission slip of being our authentic self and not being scared to be like who we are and just show up as the beautiful beings we are. Yeah, thank you too. And is there a place that people can come find you, see what you're up to, want to share your socials, your website? Yeah, so my uh, on Instagram it's really fit life with a V V I L I fit life, um, and my website is reallyfit.com, and my course and academy is called Vivify Academy, and my first course is called Vivify Yourself, which means enlighten and spark and come back to your empowered self. Mm. Yummy, <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> And for anyone who's interested, I'll post the link below where you can apply. And if your application's approved, I'll send you a message to book a call and we can discuss more about the packages and the retreat, et cetera. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Billy. Appreciate you. Bye.